Here are the different frequencies that come together to make a flute sound. In red, it shows the frequency in hertz. In yellow, you're seeing the actual waveform of each frequency. Note, the higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelengths, meaning the waves are more scrunched. What would those waves look like if you added them all together? Yes, like ripples on a pond, waves can overlap, which means they add together. Well, they'd look like this, which we can call a composite wave. Now I'll play the same note on a violin. Much more going on, eh? And you can see this by the much more complicated-looking composite wave, amazingly for the very same note of the less complicated flute. The number in different levels of overtones for each instrument makes all the difference. You can see that the composite waves from the flute and the violin look very different, and that difference is quickly picked up by your ears, so quickly you don't even think about it. Is it possible to do the reverse? That is, start with a composite wave and break it down into its simpler components. Well, that's exactly what the frequency analyzer is doing. And it does so through some fancy math called the Fourier transformation, developed by the Frenchman Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier in the early 1800s. The assumption of Fourier's math is that anything that vibrates, and we mean anything, it generates a fundamental and perfectly simple wave called a sinusoidal wave, which can be transverse or longitudinal. All overtones are multiples of that fundamental and thus easily accounted for, mathematically speaking. Complications arise when you have multiple wave sources, which happens because just about everything around us is vibrating on some level. However, through the Fourier transformation, which kind of looks something like this, you can parse out those different sources. It's some super amazing math, and rather important, too. Ever wonder how they remove the vocal tracks for karaoke? Uh, the Fourier transformation? Or how does an auto-tuner work? (laughs) The Fourier transformation. A geologist studies the up-and-down wave patterns of a mountain range and figures out the mountain's history. How so? Uh, The Fourier transformation. An astronomer analyzes the spectra of stars looking for signs of other planets. Again, the Fourier transformation very useful in many different areas you might not even think of. But the most remarkable of all is that the brain itself performs a type of Fourier transformation on the fly as it listens to sounds. Here, I'm combining two sounds together, and here's the composite waveform. Can your eyes, looking at this waveform, tell you what's playing? Not likely. But now listen. Immediately, your brain takes in that complicated waveform and breaks it down to the components. Oh, that's a violin and a flute. Oh, that's a Fourier transformation. Good job, brain. And good energy. (laughs) 